The trade unionist and socialist coalition is now the sixth biggest party on the ballot. They question the £850 billion subsidy to the City of London, let alone the austerity and privatisation policies of the Tories, Labour and the Liberal Democrats. With me is the national chair of Tusk, Dave Nellis, who is a former Labour MP for Coventry South East. Welcome back, uh, Dave. Let's begin with you being the sixth largest uh, party what what media exposure are you getting for this it might come as a surprise to some people it may well do we're going to have um, over 130 parliamentary candidates and uh, well over 500 perhaps 600 council uh, candidates and as you say that makes it the sixth largest party on the ballot paper regretfully that doesn't easily translate into the establishment media giving us equal coverage to what our numbers uh, suggest even though there's a statutory duty by broad for broadcasters to give you fair media coverage because you're standing that many candidates and then the lawyers get involved in what is fair uh, the caveats that come are do you have uh, elected members already well we, yes we have councillors in a number of cities around the the country do you have past people elected I've had a fair bit of experience parliamentary and regionally and locally in the uh, in local government um, but the tests that they apply mean that we will get a broadcast on the BBC and the ITV we will get included in some debates but not the leaders debate and not in the major coverage in the next few weeks do you think there's a conspiracy then? Oh, I certainly think that uh, the anti austerity arguments which we're putting forward and the sharp challenges we're putting forward on low wages, on uh, zero hour contracts, on the need for uh, a massive house building program and the other social improvements we'd like to, uh, to, to see uh, are marginalised in elections when the main parties all have an overlapping agenda of austerity and just want to talk about the margins of that uh, agenda. We challenge it fundamentally. And what do you think of the uh, impact of the Greens? Uh, Natalie Bennett, however, has said she would in any uh, perhaps coalition uh, have to go along with Labour cuts. Uh, what do you think about uh, how you'll well, be working with Greens? For the sort of folk I come from and represent, whether cuts are carried out enthusiastically by Tories and uh, UKIP or with a heavy heart by Labour and the Greens, we know that running the council in Brighton and being part of a cabinet in Bristol, they have, however reluctantly, carried out uh, cuts. Doesn't cut ice if it's your youth club, your library, your park or street that's not being uh, cleaned. What defines us as a political party is 100% opposition to austerity and the cuts and none of our councillors or members of parliament we're looking to get elected will vote for any cuts. You are of course a Labour MP though, what about Tusk people uh, selling out when they become MPs in parliament? Well personally and there's quite a lot of us that hold uh, by this we believe that the nearer you are to the living conditions of the people you represent and I spent the whole of my time in parliament on the average factory wage in uh, Coventry which was less than half an MP's uh, so the nearer you are to those conditions the less likely you are to be drawn into the establishment club which Westminster uh, is but the more active you have as a, a base the more active participation from the organizations and the communities of working class people on whatever representatives get elected the better chance you have of holding the line. One of the big policies of Tusk is uh, opposition to TTIP. Uh, will that be a, a, a big platform for the party of the election? It, it certainly uh, was. It was added at our conference uh, only, uh, only recently. And, and you can look around the world and see, for example, the way in which Philip Morris is attacking Uruguay at the, at the moment to see what happens when private companies get the power to interfere in the decisions of, uh, of governments. And the main fear about TTIP in a lot of people's minds is that it would open the National Health Service and other public services in Britain to private uh, multinationals, American-based and elsewhere, trying to privatise those uh, services and if they're not allowed to by domestic policy then being able to go to international courts in order to seek uh, redress. There do seem rather a lot of these uh, small anti-austerity parties. How are you working together with other politics has changed. In my lifetime, politics has changed. When I was born in the 1950s, then 97 percent of people in this country voted for either Labour or for Tory. I suspect when we see the results on May the 8th, it'll probably be nearer 60 percent than 90 odd percent. There are at least a third of the adult population of this country looking for some sort of alternative, and that's spreading in different ways. Now, in Scotland, Labour look like they're going to lose the vast majority of their seats, and the SNP are gaining from that. In England, I would suspect that many of those 
not um, the whole millions of them, but many of those who deserted Labour because of its record uh, under Tony Blair and Gordon Brown may go to other parties. And at the moment, regretfully, it looks like UKIP is the biggest uh, inheritor of the votes, largely, I think, because of the failure of the trade union uh, uh, movement to challenge the social conditions on which UKIP is then blaming recent arrivals this show rather than the billionaires who are really running their society. So yes, there are a number of uh, parties. What we're trying to do through being uh, initially a coalition is to bring together and to be the largest force on the left, which we will be in these uh, elections, attract new working class and socialist activists bring deeper roots inside the trade union movement and to build a voice for working class people uh, of the quality that they deserve. Polls show that 80% uh, do favour uh, trade unions. They're essential to protect workers' interests at least. Why do you think we don't see that uh, theme in, in mainstream uh, in a, discourses? In, in, in a sense, it comes back to your first Even question. Even Miliband says yeah, it he, comes back he your first reduce union. Yeah, first, your first question, though, about, uh, about how do you think we're going to do in the May uh, elections. Look, Nigel Farage was on the flagship BBC programme, Question Time, 29 times before he got his first MP in Parliament. If the policies which we put forward as Tusk, which include such things as renationalisation of rail and Royal Mail, renationalisation of gas, water and electricity, all of which have 60 to 70 to 80 percent support within the population, were put forward and allowed to be explained to the same extent, for example, as UKIP's had a platform in recent uh, uh, years, then I think the popularity of socialist ideas would grow in this country. Labour is, of course, committed to the uh, massive cuts uh, that uh, are ahead of us if, if one of the major three parties were in coalition, if the Labour or Tories are there. If you're, you're not going to be Prime Minister, presumably, so what pressure can Tusk put on with, uh, in Parliament uh, on a Labour Party coalition after May? I think, look, regretfully, you are right. In January, there was a vote when uh, the Chancellor, George Osborne, brought forward the Charter for Budget Responsibility, which uh, embedded another £30 billion pounds worth of cuts into the next uh, Parliament. There were 515 MPs from all parties voted in favour. 18 voted against and only five Labour MPs said no to another £30 billion pounds worth of, uh, of cuts. Now, whether we get uh, uh, any or many elected to, to, to Parliament, the first test of those cuts, in my view, is actually going to be in local councils. So the budgets that local councils have in the next one, two and three years are going to continue to be uh, cut in the same way they have in the last uh, Parliament. That means more youth clubs, more libraries, more children's centres, more family centres, more local authority jobs going... And in that battleground, I think people would welcome more decent shop stewards on their local councils prepared to work with those campaigns to defend local services. So our pressure would come from the bottom up, from embedding ourselves in the campaigns to save local services and then demanding from politicians high up the tree that they reverse the policies which are demanding those cuts. And uh, you are called a trade union and uh, socialist coalition. Finally, any sign of uh, more of bigger trade unions supporting your party instead of uh, the Labour Party that, as you say, supports the cuts? We have very senior but individual members from unions such as the, P the Prison Officers Association, the Fire Brigades uh, uh, Union, on our steering uh, But the committee, big unions. Both of which unions are due, in, uh, as far as I can see, to be discussing their relationship with uh, Tusk at their conferences, which are after the, the general election. The three biggest unions in this country are Unite, are Unison and the GMB. Len McCluskey, the General Secretary of Unite, has said if Labour fails to get elected or gets elected and carries out Tory-like policies, he would reassess with the membership of Unite the, Unite, the relationship with the, the Labour Party. Now, we've got so far 130 parliamentary uh, uh, candidates. Over a quarter of those come from Unite. We've got over 30 senior Unite activists in towns and cities around the country already making the decision. They want to stand independently with, uh, with Tusk. So whatever happens after the election, if austerity continues, the arguments against austerity will continue, and the need for a vehicle like Tusk I think will become more and more within the bigger unions uh, a calling point that people respond to. Dave Nellis, thank you. That's it for today, but we're back on Saturday when we hear more political voices seeking a mandate in May, Left Unity and the National Health Action Party. Till then, contact us via Twitter, Facebook, SoundCloud and email and don't forget RTUK News with Bill Dodd. It's on every weekday evening between 6 and 10. See you on Saturday.